your company manufactures what's said to be the world's largest mag drive pumps. I think you have a model going up to 800 kilowatts. Where are such huge pumps used? This kind of pumps will be used in the petrochemical industry and also in the refineries, directly in the liquid phase behind the crackers, yeah? especially in hydrocarbon applications. Isn't that the kind of area where we'd expect to find a double magnetic seal pump? You're right. Normally in that kind of areas, the double mechanical seal pump will be used, but more and more uh, magnetic driven pumps are used because of several reasons. And can you amplify on some of these reasons? Yeah, there are some reasons which are price, which are technical point, which are environmental. And of course, you need no necessary to have double mechanical seals plus buffer systems plus nitrogen for the pressure plus the water for cooling and things like that nature. And the whole control of the system you do not have with a magnetic driven pump. But is the magnetic driven pump available in enough hydraulic configurations? Nowadays, 73 pumps available, different pump sizes available to, to have a solution for nearly every application which is necessary. And of course, there are at least three impellers to configure each size and pump size to bring it to the operating point. So what has to happen then before the mag drive pump is more widely adopted? I think it must happen that the end users will bring more and more influence to the EPC contractors, but also to the people who give the license for these refineries and petrochemical plants. But as far as you're concerned, the mag drive pump uh, is, has a very good future? Absolutely, yes. More and more end users will use that kind of pump, especially also from the environmental point of view.